Hey, everybody. Here are reviews from Mob.org and me, Garrett Lucier. Well, let's go. Today we have a game about a universe which has become a base for several series, three to be precise, three movies, and even an animation serial. It's Stargate, of course. I will tell you the truth. I haven't seen any of the series, though they urge me to do that. I'll surrender sooner or later, but not today. A couple of words about the universe of Stargate itself. This very thing, the gate, is the device meant for transit from one point of the universe to another by means of tunnel teleportation. The Stargate was found in 1928 in Egypt, on the Giza Plateau. For a long time, nobody could discern what kind of crap it was and how it worked, but in the 90s, it was activated at last. Well, here you have aliens and other people who have settled to other planets sometimes, as well as new friends and new enemies. Our game is based on the Stargate SG-1 series. Actually, it has the same name. It's rather difficult to relate to in any particular genre, that's why we consider it to be an adventure game. It will become a shooter, then quest or arcade game. You will also meet elements of action and RPG there, such as taking part in dialogues. In other words, you will have to choose what a character will say next. By the way, speaking of characters, they will swap as well with the gameplay. Very often you will have to play as more than one and even more than two of the series heroes during one chapter. I seem to have mentioned Fahrenheit, one of my most favorite games in my reviews. Now then, if somebody doesn't remember or simply hasn't played the game, there was also interchanging of heroes there. In both games, it is an astounding trick that lets you look at some particular situation and the plot, in general, from different points of view and from a different perspective. By the way, the plot is excellent, and the gameplay and atmosphere itself are so absorbing that you'll be distracted from the game only by the battery when you run it down from time to time. The game will obviously not be a kind of stroll or kindergarten excursion for anybody. The missions are really quite complicated, the quests are messed up now and then, and you manage to complete them only on the fifth try. The game seems to be longer than it is because of that, and it is good. Well, let's talk about controls a little. It's obvious that I can't describe it in a nutshell. There are lots of variants of controls, and every subgenre is controlled in its own way. Let's begin with a simple move about the location. Free movement is made with use of the joystick, situated in the bottom left corner of the screen, and the viewing angle is changed by swipes. In my mind, the camera is a bit crazy there, but I can't say that it's a defect. I simply seem to be ham-handed. Sometimes you have to shoot back at enemies. The game turns into a shooting gallery then. The hero sits behind a cover. You have to emerge from behind the cover by pressing the button situated below. When you happen to be in the firing line, you get an opportunity to shoot. Just tap the enemy to shoot. <laughs> it's quite funny, I think. You can also pitch grenades. There's a special icon for that there. There are also moments when you need to aim at a target like in a fire extinguisher, for it to explode and put out the fire. Aim with the joystick and fire with the shooting button. Well, and about quests for moments. Here we have quick time events, i.e. all sorts of action icons appear on the screen, and you have to repeat them in time. Tap and swipe at the right time and at the correct side, and so on. Let's sum up. When I prepared the review, as usual, re I read comments on the game. It turns out that many of you are dissatisfied with the numerous long intros, as for me, I've never objected to watching some movie while playing the game. It's never bothered me and it doesn't now. Moreover, the movie is interesting here. Well, if someone doesn't want to watch it, just skip it. And about advantages, the plot, atmosphere, genre interchange, quite good graphics. Moreover, it's diligently designed. It is obvious that people made their best when creating the game. In short, the game is a sheer advantage. In addition, its volume is rather small in nowadays terms, only 620 megabytes. That's just the way it is. If you liked it, sign, like, tweet, and whatever. This was Garrett Lucier and reviews from Mob.org. See you soon.